So back to the Northern Rhone, um, you know, this is a picture of Cote Roti, um, and you can see how a lot of times they have to stake the vines and they stake it almost like a little teepee. Um, they have to deal with this famous mistral wind that can come through and just knock the vine over if they're not careful. In fact, the mistral is actually something that's good and not so good. It's, it's a, you can see the wind, and it's a north, northern wind that comes through the Rhone Valley. Um, it's a cold wind, but it helps to dry out the vines if there's any moisture to prevent any risk of rot. Um, it also tends to dehydrate the grapes, so it can increase the concentration and richness in sugar. Um, at the same time, though, it can, um, the force can cause you know, improper fertilization, um, and it can also um, be able, it can also create um, problems with uh, the workers and getting into the vineyards because when you have, have to work these vineyards very carefully to make sure that that proper sort of heart-shaped um, vine training is done to avoid getting uh, problems with the mistral. But it can reach a maximum speed of about 90 miles an hour in some places, because especially in the north where it's very narrow and just tunnels through. And they have a saying in France that they, they say that, um, I think it's every odd days, Christine is like, it, it, the mistral comes, it's going to be three days, five days, or seven days, or longer. Um, and I always remember this story I once read about a person in, in France, a, a, a husband killed his wife, and he claimed insanity due to the mistral, because it kind of makes you go kind of crazy when it's blowing all the, and he was acquitted. So just saying, he must have had a good lawyer.